Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. How are you today? Today I want to talk to you about some of this post-moon retrograde energy that we're in. It's going to be bringing up a lot of emotion and some of that emotion I need to let you know, feel your emotions. You can't be zen about this stuff because there's nowhere to store it up anymore. Your body does not want to further accumulate things. You need to let go of the past. Now that's hard to understand because you may say, well, I don't really know what's in my past. Do I need to, you know, review that? You've already been in a review actually over the past year of what needs to go, what um, what's not necessary in your life. And this is going to include people. It's going to include groups. It's going to include things that uh, might seem odd to you. But the purpose of being served here globally is to get along, at the very least, be neutral. You have to be like Switzerland and be neutral. So how does this play into the Twin Flame journey? Well, number one, you have a brand new template that you're integrating. And yet, as you're integrating this with whatever terminology you use, such as downloads or upgrades, it's all valid. But the key to it is unless you're making space, unless you are properly focusing on clearing, because you can't just like wish it away, you actually do need body movement. You need to get your channels open. And you need to be able to allow the time it takes to purge eons of stuff. So as they say, Rome was not built in a day. You're not going to get rid of this just by watching one video. It's incumbent on you to get familiar with some of this. So what do you get really familiar with? Well, number one, it does involve uh, clearing emotional connections because a lot of those have been in the past. And they've been to um, places and timelines that are just lost in history. Like you really won't know exactly where everything is from. Don't even bother trying to identify it. Your main focus should be to use a proven method of getting these things rid of. But what do you do about the emotions that come up? Well, we could take our happy couple here and they're each going through stuff. Why are they each going through stuff? Well, just as a reminder, each person has their own body. Each person does not only have their own personality, they have ancestry. Along with that ancestry comes past lives, past connections, and that means timelines, ancient sites, ancient cultures, even other planets. So we're in a time now where your cosmic connections and the things that have happened to you are highly important. Whatever went wrong, whatever did you wrong, it's going to be come up, come up to be addressed because you can't just wave this away. You can't zen away everything. And that's something that even the most spiritual people will sometimes try to avoid because it doesn't feel comfortable. But it neither can you hold it and carry it. So she cannot carry whatever happened to her here in her lovely Marilyn Monroe dress. And, you know, however she feels, she may have forgotten who she's been in another life. But the body remembers and it's making her stomach not feel good. She's feeling a buildup and she is dang tired. And this is getting raw for her. This is getting to the point where it is just like really like where she's wondering and she's saying, why am I even here if I'm not going to do this? Why do I have to be able to, you know, do this stuff endlessly and endlessly? Well, it is a twofold process. And she finds herself getting alternately angry and fatigued and angry and fatigued and angry and fatigued. And it feels like that accelerator on a car that's going, er, er, er. and it's very jerky. It is um, 
not fun while she's going through it. If she talks to me, she'll find out what herbals and supplements can help actually get her mojo back, but also to get her channels open so she can have some of those sacred sexual experiences, not just an energy that went and it feels like a drive-by somehow. What about him? He's finding that he is really, really, stuff is coming up from the past. He's so angry sometimes, but it alarms him because he knows that when things get angry, it can really get out of hand. It can get out of control. And he doesn't want to be that way. He thinks of himself as an easygoing guy. He's easygoing. He's easy to please. But why is this so intense? Maybe I should just give up. Maybe I don't even know why I'm here anyway. Maybe, and it just trails off. Because the mind, his mind, is trying to think of things to get rid of or things to buy. Maybe I should buy this. Maybe I should buy that. Maybe I should go online. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And instead, what he needs is he needs a little help in the mental, emotional area of what's affecting his crown. Because the crown can have an effect on the emotions. Because what has happened here in history, what has happened connected to his ancestry right here, because we're sort of dragging that along by our shirt tails. You know, it's hanging on him. It's dragging him down. Sometimes he even has pain around here and he doesn't know why. Sometimes he's having a lot of pain up here. He gets little pains in the heart, shooting pains, little things that are happening. And it's confusing because this is a whole other level of ascension that we're in. So for people that have had some of the first part, first stage of what's occurred over the past 10 years, you're in the next phase. And this means it's deep. It means it's cosmic. He doesn't remember what's happened. He himself would simply like to be able to fly out of here. But you're having an issue with that, aren't you? Well. I just never expected things would feel this heavy or intense. It feels like I'm walking through cement. Yeah, it can feel like that. It can feel like that. We have another couple. And we have some other things happening. We have ancestry on both sides. Some of the ancestry has been really lost in time even here on Earth. People can only trace things back maybe a few hundred years. They don't know what their relatives were sick with or what's been carried over. But the body wants to get rid of all kinds of illnesses, including the ones of having the result of having to mingle with the wrong people. So what comes up? Well, she feels so impatient. She is just annoying beyond all get out and wants to get on with this. This is just annoying and irritating and she's feeling very short tempered and she's feeling very flighty and she is not feeling like herself, not her usual lovely Caribbean queen self. And what about him? He's feeling very put upon. He is feeling like the weight of the world has been on his shoulders and he has the backaches to prove it. And why would this be? Because many people have been assisting with the buildup of technology, with the buildup of industry, with the buildup of cultures. And now it's time to set down the load. But what do you do to get healed? What do you do with the deep, heavy labor of the past? Well, sometimes people feel flat out. They just want to rest. They feel exhausted and they feel a heaviness. Sometimes that heaviness is here by the heart. Sometimes it's further down in the body. And sometimes it's dragging off 
you know, the coattails area. And this is not pleasant when people are going through this, but nor does it have to be something that you can do nothing about. So on the one side, you can feel mild depression, um, aches and pains in the body, dull, achy, blah feelings, really flat. And on the other hand, you can feel very agitated, annoyed, irritable, and crampy, and like every last thing is getting on your last nerve, because it is. So if you're highly empathic, some of this energy is really unbearable. And it's time to start moving it. It's time to learn through your body some of the simple ways that I'm able to help you with to get this not only shifted, but get you where you belong. Because these things are going to go in several cycles. That's the thing about having a brand new body. The new twin flame body is working to help you function better. That means better digestive function, no matter what runs in your family, because that's unconditional love. So how does the couple come together if he, she says, well, I've got this, I just, I don't really want to be touched right now. And he says, well, that's fine because I've got a headache. And, you know, they go their separate ways and neither one of them is feeling good. When I work with people, not only do I shift it so that things shift within an hour to three days, and yes, we need to keep that going. So it's like having an adjustment. You have to get a couple of adjustments to help you. There's several levels. And most people are in the process of having um, their breakdowns. They're getting overwhelmed. So if you are feeling overwhelmed, tired, fatigued, if you're having some of those weird aches and pains and things that feel like zaps or body jerks, come to see me and reach out. The links are below. It will help you immensely to do some of that. What about, do you just call it a day? Do you find yourself saying things like, what's the point? I mean, really, what's the point? Okay, if you are saying that, please go to sleep early. I guarantee you a good night's rest will at least help to take the edge off of that. Some of the things that are necessary, like twin flame relationship challenges, twin flame relationship challenges will come up even as people live with each other because it's going to bring out patterns of relationship such as distrust. But if the patterns are in there too deeply, it's felt as a physical symptom. And when people go to the doctor, which I do recommend, go and check. But when the doctors don't find anything, it is metaphysical. And that is something that I do help with. Or if you come to me, if you are having some type of spiritual emergence and it feels urgent, like a crisis, I am an intuitive. I am a high-level healer. I'm a Blu-ray healer. The Blu-rays are the prototypers, so that means that I've been really been put through my paces with the body. All of the things that I'm mentioning, all of the things that I'm acting out, I'm acting out my own stories. These are things that I've actually been through. The depression, the discouragement, the disillusionment, the feeling of maybe I didn't do it right, okay? There's a lot that is being... Um, healed. And yet it's important sometimes to get the high level help so that you can expedite it. Because I not only do that, but I empower people by teaching them. People get an education when they work with me because it's the only way I can do it. I can't sit there and say, well, now I'm going to wave a feather and everything will be better. People have to engage in their own empowerment. That means that at some point, you are together and you're tuned in with each other and beginning to get things. If you're struggling to discern what it is, 
And, you know, there's a lot of good stuff that needs to happen for you. But getting rid of the, uh, the waste, the drama, the crises, that's something that is incumbent on everyone to do so that this can go smoother for you. You don't have to do this alone. I'm here. I've been doing this for more than a decade. I started by working with the body, not by reading tarot cards. That is not how I started. I didn't learn it the opposite way around. I learned through the body and I've learned by being put through the paces and being the prototyper. So I know this well. And trust me when I tell you, even if you think that, well, maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I need to eat more organic. A lot of that stuff, while it is well and good, prototyping a body for a majority of people means that, yeah, people are going to eat junk food. People are going to make mistakes. But it's how you learn from your mistakes and quickly recover from them. And part of that is in learning the body work because this is new. In fact, it's so new. People are trotting out a lot of ancient information thinking that that's new. And it's actually very different from how it was 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago. It's different than in ancient Egypt. So while there is a lot of closure going on, get new, be in the present moment, be now, and pay attention to what's happening now. And that will help you a lot. So the links are below, reach out, and I hope to see you soon. I'm here to help. I have several things, including my book, Twin Flame Relationships. Look for the link below. It's available and it is very good because I have chapters in there like how to stop being an empath, how to stop the drama, clear your sexual energy, clear karma from your vision. These are important things in addition to proper breathing, three levels of breathing, which sounds complicated, but as you have the breakthroughs, you're going to have those aha moments. Aha, this tumbled down so that something better can be built. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.